JFT, just fair and direct. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to JFD's daily market review for March, for March the 23rd. I am Harald Ambos Pissuros, Senior Market Analyst here at JFD, and I will talk about yesterday's main market movers, what's my opinion moving ahead, what are today's important events, and how they could affect the markets. But before we start, let's read our disclaimer. The content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered as such, and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. I will leave you a few seconds to read the rest and then we will jump into our analysis. Okay, the US dollar traded mixed against uh, the other G10 currencies on Monday and during the Asian trading Tuesday. It gained against NZD, AUD, CAT and GBP in that order, while it un underperformed versus CHF, the Euro and SEC. The greenback was found virtually unchanged against the JPY and NOC. The weakening of the commodity-linked Kiwi, Aussie and Looney combined with the strengthening of the, of the safe haven francs suggests that uh, markets uh, turned the risk off at some point. Looking at the performance in the equity world, we see that major EU, EU indices traded mixed with Eurozone banks uh, falling and um, preventing recoveries as the Turkish Lira plunged to a near record low after President Tayyip Erdogan replaced a hoggish central bank governor with someone who favors lower interest rates. US indices traded in the green though, with Nasdaq gaining the most, perhaps due to a pullback in US treasury yields. That said, during the Asian session today, risk appetite softened after uh, the US and others, including the European Union, imposed uh, sanctions on Chinese officials for human rights abuses, with China hitting um, back with measures against European lawmakers, diplomats, diplomats institutes and uh, families. As for today, the overall market appetite will depend on the outcome of the testimony of Fed Chair Jerome Powell and US Treasur Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen. The two officials will testify before the House of Financial uh, before the House Financial Services Committee, where they 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 are expected uh, to discuss the economic recovery and how effective monetary and fiscal policies have been. They will present the same testimony before the Senate Banking Committee on Wednesday. Market participants may be on the, look on the lookout for comments on the latest surge in U.S. Treasury yields, but given that we already heard from, uh, but given that we already heard both officials' uh, opinion on the matter, we don't expect any surprises. Yellen's opinion is that the rise in bond yields represents a robust economic recovery, and she does not believe that the economy will run too hot. Powell's view is that any spike in inflation in the months to come is likely to prove to be temporary and that inflation will meet the Fed's goal in the years after 2023. Remember that at the press conference following last week's meeting, he noted that it is too early to start discussing tapering quantitative easing, while the updated dot plot pointed to no rate hikes even in 2023. So with all that in mind, a reiteration of those views may eventually convince some market participants that no normalization is on the card soon and thereby support equities. At the same time, the US dollar may come under selling interest. Now, the New Zealand dollar was the main loser among the G10s as apart from uh, the weak uh, risk appetite during the Asian session today, it was hurt by the decision from New Zealand's government to take measures in order to cool, the, to cool its uh, hot uh, housing market, including uh, higher taxes. The government has instructed the RBNZ to take into account house prices when setting monetary policy, which means that following the measures it may push back the timing of when it expects to start raising rates. In other words, the RBNZ is now likely to keep rates low for longer than previously expected. With that in mind, we would expect the QE to underperform, to underperform its Australian counterpart. Yes, both currencies uh, tend to strengthen during risk on trading and to weaken when appetite deteriorates, but uh, in Aussie Kiwi, 
any strengthening or, or weakening due to the broader market sentiment may be offset. Thus, we believe that uh, the main driver of this currency pair may be differences in monetary policy between the RBA and the RBNZ. And with the RBNZ now expected to keep interest rates low for longer, uh, OZQ is likely to trend north. Now, as for the rest of uh, today's events, during the early European morning, we already got the UK employment report for January. The unemployment rate ticked down to 5% from 5.1% instead of rising to 52 as the forecast suggested, while the net change in employment showed that the economy lost slightly less jobs than expected. With regards to wages, both the including and excluding bonuses rates rose by less than anticipated. Later in the day, we have the US, new, the U.S. new home sales for February, which are expected to have fallen 6.5% uh, month over month after rising 4.3% in January. As for the speakers, apart from Powell and Yellen, we have nine more on today's agenda, and those are Bank of England Governor Andrew Bailey, Bank of England Chief Economist Andy Haldane, Bank of England Deputy Governor for Financial Stability John Cunliffe, ECB Supervisory Board Chair Andrea Enria, Atlanta Fed President Rafael Bostic, St. Louis Fed President James Bullard, Richmond Fed President Thomas Barking, New York Fed President John Williams, and Fed Board Governor Lael Brainard. So that's it uh, from me. Thank you very much for watching and listening. For those who are interested in learning about the main events of the week much earlier, you can subscribe to the Weekly Market Outlook webinar, which I'm holding every Monday at 8 o'clock AM GMT. You can find the link in the description below. So goodbye, have a great day, and I'm looking forward to seeing you here again tomorrow. JFT, just fair and direct.